Hey everybody, Ken Surfs here. We're in the shave den and it's time for another high-end shave. I haven't done one of these in a few years because a lot of the high-end cologne manufacturers, they do no longer make aftershave splash. And, you know, I don't want to do a shave and then instead of aftershave splash or lotion, I put on uh, Eau de Toilette. So uh, I did find, I was uh, doing a little shopping several weeks ago, and I found that Chanel, Blue Day Chanel, Eau de Toilette, still has an aftershave splash. Uh, but there's a trick. It's not called a splash. It's called aftershave lotion. They have the aftershave lotion, and this is coming in at about 70 bucks. But they have an aftershave balm, which comes in at about 60 bucks, and it's uh, not a splash at all, so it's just a balm. And then the Blue Day Chanel uh, Eau de Toilette, it lasts a long time. So I'm going to be using these today, along with a new razor from Edwin Jagger, and it is the Diffusion Series 72. So I'm going to be using that today with Edwin Jagger pomegranate and lime, or lime and pomegranate. A badger brush, Edwin Jagger, and a feather blade. Now, I'm not gonna shave uh, with the dress shirt on, so I'm gonna take this off. Welcome, and it's good to see you all again in the shaved den. All right, that's more like it. Now I don't have to worry about getting soap everywhere. All right, so I'm gonna load the uh, Edwin Jagger Diffusion 72 in blue. They come in different handles. And you know, this is not an expensive razor. They have them on Amazon. I think they're like 50 bucks. I've also got the Diffusion, I think it's the 36, or another uh, model that I'll be doing in an upcoming shave. But today we're gonna use the 72. And this was fresh out of the box. So it has the paper, the paper spacer, right? <laughs> there we go. We'll take that off. And I'm going to use a feather blade. I often don't use feather blades because they're just too, uh, sometimes too aggressive. And we'll see how we do today. I haven't nicked myself in a, in a while and I probably shouldn't say that, but uh, <laughs> today might be the day. All right. But uh, every, or this model EJ razor comes with a feather blade. All right. And it's just got a little different looking handle. But uh, it looks pretty good. And since I'm using Blue Day Chanel, I'm using Blue Handled EJ today. Very good. And uh, got the best, or the Badger. Is it a Pure Badger? Best Badger. This is a Best Badger from uh, Edwin Jagger. And we'll put that in here for a second or two in the crystal skull. And the soap is actually, it's not a soap, it's a shave cream. It's very soft. So you can see, very soft. So I'm going to have to basically do a face lather with this. I don't want to, uh, trust me, you don't want to uh, try to whip up a lather like I do with some of the harder soaps with the soft soap. It's just going to inundate that brush. So I was very happy, like I said, I'm very happy to see that uh, some of the high-end colognes still have aftershave. Uh, Ralph Lauren, I guess, discontinued his polo, uh, this is the blue, this is aftershave, I'm almost done with it, and polo green. A lot of the companies no longer do aftershaves, and I don't know why. You don't want to just go straight to Oudé Toilet. You want to, I mean, it's a little milder scent, the aftershave, and it's a lot less expensive. You know, I mean, the, the aftershave might be 50 bucks where the Oudé Toilet might be 100 bucks. And it's, you know, you definitely don't want to splash Oudé Toilet on as an aftershave. All right, I'm just going to take some soap onto the brush. Pomegranate and lime. And uh, the EJ products are coming from the UK. And Chanel, of course, from France. And I've had good luck with that Chanel. It got me in trouble a couple of times. 
I've been out with my wife, move on a date or a piano bar or something, and someone will notice it and go, oh, you smell good, what are you wearing? And sometimes that can not go over well with the spouse, but it's nice to know it's being noticed by someone other than the spouse. Oh, and it's Movember, everybody. I'm growing out my goatee uh, because I want all of us who are growing out our mustaches or goatees for the uh, month of November, it's to bring uh, awareness for men and women to go get screened for cancers, not only prostate cancer, but skin cancers, just get screened. It's better to catch stuff early than to catch stuff late. All right. Nice handle, not too, not too slippery. And a lot of you have said, if you put a little bit of uh, alum, alum block on your fingers, you won't, you'll be able to grip the razor a lot better. All right, let's see this. It's a feather blade. So I'm gonna go a little slower than normal. Oh, nice combo, nice combo. I'm sounding a little nasally. We had the winds again here in Southern California and we have another fire in Southern California and all of that smoke and bad air quality because of the winds has blown right over to Huntington Beach and I'm breathing it and it's allergy season. Let's just put it that way. We need a good rain to clear the air. Feather blades really paired nice with this. Oh. I'm telling you, there is no reason I need to do a second pass on that combo. But having said that, I like talking to you. So here we are. All right. <clears throat> yeah, I went to, uh, I ended up picking up that uh, Blue Day Chanel from Macy's. I went to Bloomingdale's and I asked for the aftershave uh, Blue Day Chanel. They said, well, they don't have aftershave. I'm like, what do you mean? I've got it. I've ordered it online. It's in the cart at Macy's right now. Of course they do. But they were a little bit too busy to deal with me. So I left Bloomingdale's. I went over to Macy's and I bought them there. So yes, they do make an aftershave, but it's not a splash. It's called lotion. And it smells real good. Christmas is coming up, so you could always ask your better half, hey, I'm interested in a new cologne. Uh, whoops, almost dropped it. Interested in a new cologne? Uh, maybe I can try out that uh, Blue Day Chanel aftershave. Stock up your shave den, right? Very smooth. Very little feedback now. I never would have thought of putting a feather in this, but uh, obviously, since it comes with a feather, somebody knows something more than I do. So, a good combination. All right, a little cold water. The EJ products, they're, they're available. Well, you can go to their website and read out about them, but since they come from the UK, I, I end up getting a lot of mine from Amazon. It's just easier. I used a feather blade and I did not get a nick. Good, good, good. All right, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use some of the aftershave lotion. And it's a twist off, so as it should be. It's a splash, you know. Oh, whoa, 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 Nice, oh, moderate burn, not too hard. Nice scent, but it's aftershave, so it's watered down. In fact, the scent is not gonna last as long as the parfum 
Oudé toilet or Oudé parfum, but I prefer, I prefer the Oudé toilet. So I'm gonna do a, a little blast right here and that's gonna last all day. Now that you can really smell. That's a magnet cap. There we go. Well, very nice. My first time using this model razor. And it says it's good for advanced or beginners, you know, uh, this, this model. And if you can put a feather blade in it and not get a nick and get a really nice, tight, close shave, hey, you've succeeded. All right. That went quicker than I thought. <laughs> All right, everybody, thank you very much for tuning in, and I really appreciate your subscriptions, and I love your comments. I try to answer them all, uh, at least on the current videos, maybe on some that have been released, you know, five years ago. I don't get to too often, but we keep moving in November. So until next time, stay safe, and I definitely look forward to seeing you again very, very soon. Bye for now.